Find Your Spindle. My name is Lindsay Lichtenstein, and I'm the founding director of Camp Yarnsey. Today's video is part of our Start Spinning video series. Camp Yarnsey hosts a variety of virtual meetings and events. You can knit along with us on Monday nights, spin on over on Wednesdays, and Thursdays are open craft nights. Get the links to all of our meetings and events at our website, which is yarnsy.com. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about three ways to get your yarn off of your spindle. The first two, the Nitty Knotty and the Yarn Swift, you can find at our website. And I'm going to be talking more specifically about number three, how to use the ball winder to get your yarn off of your spindle using your ball winder. Now for information on how to use a Nitty Knotty and to get your yarn off of your spindle onto a Nitty Knotty, check out our website, which is yarnsy.com forward slash Nitty Knotty for that information and video. Also how to use a yarn swift and to also figure out the measurement of your yardage. So how much yarn do you have? You can check out our website, which also includes a video, yarnsy.com forward slash measuring yarn yardage. Now, all right, now it's time to get our yarn off the spindle. If you're going to ply it later, what I like to do is I like to use this really expensive toy, which is called a toilet paper roll. It's the cardboard insert. And my ball winder. This is the Knitter's Prime ball winder. You can use any kind of ball winder. If you find your TP hole or TP does not fit on your ball winder, you can always cut this and tape this for size. Mine fits. Now, what I do is I take a piece of tape bring this up towards the top and just apply a little tape. This just helps it to get started. I have another piece of tape. This time my tape has a handy little folded over edge. You can see that. So this backside is not sticky. This, sorry, this side's not sticky. You can see it's folded over. This side is sticky. So I will start to unwind this. I'm just going to take the very edge here, of my fiber, and put it on here. This just keeps the spin from coming out of the fiber as I'm unwinding it. Now, typically I put my spindle down into a box so it can move around, or you can leave it upright and let it spin. Take back down. Oops. And here I go. And I'm back to my leader. Take that off. Take the tape off. You can either tape the end of your leader. I take my leaders back off. I'll open this back up a little bit. I like to reuse my leaders. Reuse, repurpose, recycle. Or just because it's lazy and easy. And I will put a very little knot this end to keep my twist from coming out. I'll just tuck it down in there for now. And there I go. So that way, when I'm ready to ply, I can use my lazy cape as so, and I pull it through and ply. So. And that is how you use your ball winder to get that yarn off of your spindle. Now, if we've made you happy today, 
Please remember to share us with your fellow Yarnsy friends. Give us a like on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Next time, I will be talking all about how we can spin on supported spindles. Happy spinning, because once a yarn -Z, you're always a yarn -Z. See you soon.